The handoffs that happen from one physician to another in the hospital are critical. There's just so much that can go wrong when information gets lost. At the annual meeting of the Society of Hospital Medicine in San Diego, Dr. Vineet Aurora explained some of the do's and don'ts of proper handoffs. One of the really big mistakes that people are making right now um, is with the um, increasing adoption of electronic health records in U.S. hospitals, which is a great thing. People are actually now thinking maybe they don't need to do a verbal handoff because maybe Maybe all the information is actually in the electronic health record. And so, um, so that is actually probably the biggest mistake that people are making because um, the truth is that the electronic health record doesn't substitute for the communication, the verbal dialogue that actually needs to happen at the time of the handoff. So what are three things they should do instead? So the t three top things that people can do and that hospitalists can do in particular are partner with the health IT group at their hospital to actually customize a tool that works for them. So does the tool that the vendor offers work for them and does it include the data elements they need? Uh, what we don't want to have happen is old systems persist such that are duplicative and, take, and actually waste time when a new system that comes along that could be better is actually rejected because it doesn't actually satisfy the, the frontline hospitalists that are in the field. The second thing people can do is to remember that verbal communication is not substituted by technology. So computers can do a really good job of you know, auto-pulling things like medications and um, admission information and history and things like that, but they're not going to actually write down or think of, at least not yet, the to-do items and the if-then items and the clinical judgment that it takes. And many of our hospitalists actually are handing off you know, hundreds of patients in some cases, and so uh, a patient list of that size is not going to actually communicate the information that somebody might need, which is bed two or bed three is really sick. So you really want to use a focused verbal handover to actually supplement that written technological um, data implementation that you're going to be doing. Uh, the third piece of information to remember in improving handoffs is actually to uh, remember that the receiver can't remember more than four things usually. And so um, so this is um, fascinating work from psychology. We often overburden people with too much information. And so as opposed to having a verbal handover that's an entire recitation of the patient's history or going through every single case in nauseating detail, what you really want to do is focus on the top things that you want somebody to remember and engage in an active communication um, dialogue where maybe you're asking people to read that back to you or to ask questions. So you are going for um, higher level understanding beyond just, aha, uh -huh, I get it, but that they really do understand the, um, the verbal handoff that's taking place. This is Mary Ellen Schneider for IMNG Medical Media.